Hello, friends. How are we all doing, my dear friends? <clears throat> Welcome back to a new day of streaming. Today we're playing some Terran, some Protoss. And then we'll see what we do after. What's up, Philip? Good to see you here. In the uh, early afternoon. I'm a little late. I was a little late today. today. I'm not gonna lie. Did not appreciate that. Myself being late. Ooh. Look at that. Look, look at that. Look at that matchmaking rating on my Terran. 5823. That's a rating. But that's a, that's my off-stream account. I don't play on that account on stream because I always lose MMR when I play on stream. So I don't want to do that. I quickly switch accounts. Hey, as of nerds. You're a little early. 6.24 a.m. here. Good lord. Good lord. Did y'all watch GSL yesterday? Because I didn't. I haven't seen it yet. You know, I had a great call this morning with the guy that sold me my car. Our car. Uh, so we bought a car a couple of weeks ago. A month, uh, two, two, three months. And it had to be made still or something. So it's been taking a while. <laughs> and I called him. He's like, hey, where's the car? You know? And he told me when the car's coming. And, uh, and then he's like, ah, are you in a hurry? I'm like, well, no, but I kind of want to have the car, you know? And then he said, yeah, because sometimes people get very impatient uh, and they get a little bit nervous. Ha ha. But rather than laughing, he actually out loud spoke the ha ha, which I don't think I've ever heard before because it sounded like he wanted to laugh, but maybe he's not capable of making a laughing sound. It's like you were texting with someone when you type ha ha. That's exactly what it sounded like. And I think he did three ha's as well. So it was like ha ha ha. But he spoke it every ha. Which was just absolutely wild. I don't think I've ever heard this in my entire life. Except when people try to mock laugh like ha ha. Or like ha ha ha. God, you're so funny. Ha ha. But he did it in a genuine haha -ha way. I never had this before in my life. And I've been thinking about it ever since. That's why my stream is late. I just sat here thinking about the fact that someone would pronounce all the ha's. His AI generated speech. Legit is what it sounded like. Ha ha ha. It was, it was more... It wasn't as... Uh, ha ha. It wasn't as staccato. It was more fluid. The ha ha ha. Maybe that's why people get nervous around him. Ha ha ha. True. All right, there's no point playing the card yet. 5387. How many accounts do you have? Like five or so. Four? <laughs> Good morning, Nicholas Lundgren. How do you prepare your breakfast eggs? I scramble them. But one of the key things with scrambling eggs is that you can't overcook them. Almost everyone overcooks their eggs. It's the number one mistake that scientists don't want you to hear about. Hey, Captain, do you have any build order videos for Protoss on your channel? Yeah, I have a couple. W what type of video would you like, though? I, I currently... I think I had a 3-gate blink video that I was particularly proud of. Um, not sure if there's anything else that I... I think the 4-gate the glaive stuff was pretty good that I have. Good morning to you, Captain. Good morning to you, too. Blight of them. Oh, I want to actually wall on the low ground. Well, we could probably just play a uh, six car with a Viking or something. It's an opener that I actually like. Not enough minerals. I harsh them not getting too old for StarCraft 2. Age is uh, just a number. I feel like I'm 20. Greetings from Germany. I'm going to Germany soon. 
Tomorrow morning I'm leaving for uh, very early as well. My train leaves at a crap time, but whatever. I'll be going to Cologne to play in a tournament. In the Xperia thing. The big gape cup. I'm not sure what it's actually called. I heard that the Xperia is like a big gaming center or something in Germany. Apparently it's really cool. They have like these racing seats so you can play like Formula One games and stuff. That's what I heard Rotterdam say. I'm returning to play after a six year break and everything seems off. Used to be Masters, now got placed in bronze and I'm totally clueless. Fantastic. It's really nice to be placed in a low league. That way you don't have to stress, you know, being in a high league. Being bad at stuff is some of the most relaxing things in the world. I freaking love being bad at games. Because you know it's going to improve so quickly. Like the first few weeks or months of a game, you improve so much. It was so relaxing when I was playing Overcooked. And I really sucked. Because there were no expectations of me performing well. But now we're all getting a bit better at Overcooked. And then when you're bad in a game, it just doesn't feel good, you know? So that right now you're still you're in that golden phase where basically any like you're gonna improve really quick, and also there's no like you shouldn't expect yourself to be performing well at all, you know, because it's unrealistic. Ooh, is he gonna come here with a main? No. I feel like I did something wrong here. Oh, piss off Tango. If that's even your real name, you little prick. Oh, I took a wrong route. But I still would like some sweet company. And I'm leaving tomorrow, what do you say? When I'm gone. When I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Oh, that must not have been ready correctly. Ready Step from New Zealand, Eagles flying, so on StarCraft 2 for us tonight. Wait, what? SCV I don't understand ready. what you said, but I agree. Ready. Now let's keep some of these dudes at home. Let's go all the way to night. No regrets. Just love. Not enough minimum Until we go. Not enough you know ready. You'll be young forever. You may be. Why is he not spreading creep right now? The way you turn me on. Oh, Miss Lick. Not enough. Not enough minimum. Okay, he's trying to spread at least a little bit of creep there, which I, I guess I kind of appreciate. Okay, uh, I could have killed that for sure, if I just would have been a bit faster. That's good for me. That's also good for me. That was very good for me. Oh, that was less good for me. Just because I wasn't paying attention for a little bit, honestly. Ah, well, not quite brilliant. Really not quite brilliant. Do I have some depots on the way? Yeah, I have one on the way there. Probably want to build some extra depots over here as well. And then just, um, I feel like I'm doing things in the, in the wrong order, to be honest. But oh well, it is what it is. I always feel like I have two little marines by the time my first two medivacs pop out. 
I, I think I probably in an ideal world I probably have oh well, I have too many works here that's for sure in an ideal world um, I was gonna say something insightful and smart Probably cancel that. In retrospect. Ready for dust off. No, no, no! Please, for the love of God, that's absolutely god awful. Um, what's even worse is that it probably gives an opportunity to start attacking me right now. Ah, uh, that was not good. That was really not good. Does he not have a fort base? Oh, he has no workers on that fort. He's probably pretty all in then, huh? You guys? I'm not sure why he would show it there. He, had, he built so many freaking mutas. Pretty crazy. Something in the way she moves. So we're pretty stuck here um, between a rock and a hard place. We have way too many workers as well. We have undersaturation on our natural, undersaturation in our main as well. I'm gonna get a Thor out of here. <sighs> Why am I not being attacked? It's starting to piss me off a little bit. It's scaring me, you know? It doesn't feel correct. Like, he has the mutas out. Why, why are they not being utilized? Losing that first drop is really, really bad, by the way. If I can clear all active tumors, I'm always pretty happy with that. Please, 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 please. Your forces. as well. This thing is still doing God's work, for sure. I mean, I know that I probably need to be out on the map more, but he's just purely messing... purely messing uh, Mutas, isn't he? Okay. See if he's actually going here, or what? I think he probably wanted to go there. Didn't quite make it. Upgrade complete. Upgrade. Okay, so he cleared this thing. Which is in and by itself pretty wild. Oh, come on. Oh, it's blocked off here or what? I guess that's a real reason, huh? Not absolutely terrible this trade, is it? That's a lot of freaking money though.
Yikers. I also probably shouldn't have done it the way I did here. Where I... Yeah, whatever. Not enough minerals. I built this base here. Well, I should have probably sent this base over there just eventually. Um, but let's just take a fifth a little bit quicker than I initially wanted. He's just not harassing at all. To be fair, neither am I. So maybe... We share something there. I'm not sure how many marines I'm supposed to be building, though. Huh? Yeah, not a huge fan of this, to be honest. So I lost that really quick. Oh, crap. This feels bad. Like really bad. I said it yesterday, I'll say it again today. I feel like I'm I'm doing this type of splitting completely wrong as well. I feel like Thor should be split to the sides. Um, more so than pure marines should be split to the sides. Because Thors can be easily transported, right? So we're just going to put these here now. Ah, come on, Kevin, for the love of God, why wouldn't I have anything here? No good cancel on that either. Yeah, I mean, I just make this loss, absolutely. He's just completely outplaying me. I feel like once one thing goes wrong against Miras, the entire thing always goes wrong for me. It's never actually just one thing going wrong, is it? Like, it, it starts with one thing, and then it turns into, like, 50 things in a row going wrong. Probably want to repair these guys a little bit. Let's have some turrets here as well. Um, my plan is pretty simple right now. I want my opponent to attack into me one last time, and then hope that I can somehow counterattack after I take a phenomenal fight. I need more medivacs. We're definitely going to need some sensor towers as well, because I mean, without sensor towers, there's really no actual point. Probably needed like five freaking turrets here already done. So whatever. He's not actually harassing with the Mudas, which makes my life so much easier. At the same time, makes me feel really bad for losing. I don't think he's actually pushing into me anymore. Okay, here we go, maybe. What the hell? I just moved from Emmett in there. I thought I... I didn't think it was a move. Okay, whatever. Let's just go. The rest of my my mind. I know I had a lot of them. He must have altered at this point, I don't know.
Yeah. Ah, he completely owned me. This wasn't close. My first drop losing that sucked. I just never beat Miras. It started to frustrate me. I was taking your fifth base a mistake. I think I lost the game before that already. Like his army value was so freaking high compared to mine. His worker active was fairly close actually. Like I was actually up for a decent time, but then here I lost my drop and then he just went up to 90. And there's nothing I did anymore after that actually had an impact. I lost all my map control after losing, losing the first drop. This always happens when I play Mira against me. I don't know what to do. But I know what to do, it just isn't happening. All you need is a good mine hit. Well, in the end, I need like 12 good mine hits. Okay, let's see if we can beat him now. What <laughs> about his building value? Yeah. Not enough. Ah, I honestly have the same feeling when I play Mura myself in TVZ. It only sucks against mech, but against bio, I feel like at lower levels, Muras is so good. Like, really freaking powerful. I don't enjoy playing against it. I actually think playing against Mura and Lurker is the most frustrating two things. If someone were to play Mura into Lurker at this level, I think I'd actually rip my hair out. Like, actually, I, that would not be fun. That would not spark not joy. Not enough hey, what's up, Paul? Not enough minerals. Sure Hello from the US. Keep up the sweet, sweet narration so I can fall asleep. Fall asleep? I'll try my best, buddy. You find a lot of rushing? What do you mean with that? You find a lot of rushing. Do I play against a lot of rushes? Not really, to be honest. I always feel like most people play... S ...something that, that kind of, you know, resembles macro most of the time. There's a couple of guys that have like... At this level, I think what happens is that you can really kind of put people in boxes where you have macro players and you have all inners. There are very little little people that have the ability to do multiple things. Like you have at the high level where people just have a lot of different build orders. Here, most of the time, people, people do one thing again and again and again. It's very rare for them to actually have kind of a second thing. I mean, if you have limited time, I think, you know, learning new build orders can be quite... It can be quite frustrating often because it doesn't, you know, it usually doesn't pay off right away. So people just kind of keep repeating the same thing, which works well enough for them. And then they become a very one dimensional player. I feel like that that tends to happen very often with people in general, also at higher level. This is not necessarily just a low level thing, but I think very often at higher levels, people have more time. So investing in loss feels less bad, you know, where I might be investing in, a, in, my, in my loss for like... A, like a day or two, if I'm trying something new. Someone that only plays like two games a day might might be playing two weeks in order to get that build up to the level of the, the other build that he's also playing, you know? So, yeah, feels uh, feels difficult. Although I actually think that at lower levels, when you learn a new build, you often can get very good results with it at a pretty decent pace anyway. So, yeah, make it out what you will. I always feel that the best thing you can do at lower level, quick fat tip from uh, Harstam Kevin the Koning, is to go for a very kind of a layered, I don't want to say semi all in approach, but like a timing attack based approach. I feel like it's really powerful to do that. The main reason for that being is A, that you all have to optimize for timings, which is one of the main skills in StarCraft 2. Um, and then the second thing, is that you also oh, automatically learn some macro because you're also having the macro behind it in order to, to hit your next timing. So if you have like two timings, starting with like a glaive timing, then going into like three base immortal push or three base, you know, stalker push or something like that. These are the type of things where it's like, yeah, that has like a huge payoff. A, in, in, in win rate and B, also just in, you know, your, your skill improvement.
Okay, so there's three angles here we can take. Always important to note the, uh, the amount of angles you have. Oh, I missed that. Missed one here as well, I think. That sucks, actually. I lose my reaper here or what? What actually happened? Yeah, let's just keep this thing at home. Oh, nice. That's such a good scout by me. That's actually huge. That helped me out so freaking much there. Do I have a new depot on the way already? I don't. So there's a chance I'm gonna get a little bit supply block right now. Oh, this is, he's, he's really building way too many links, I think. So this probably once again indicates that he really wants to play some Muta stuff here now. Nice stuff. I think I just lost this game. He just blink flooded me. I didn't take it serious. I even said, oh, that's a lot of links he's building, huh? This is 1 1? Or what the hell is this? He just went for a plus one. That's why all these fights look so weird to me. Because he. He went with a plus one timing attack. So he, he rushed out a really fast plus one. I just wasn't ready for it at all. But it seems like at least. That's a lot of workers here, by the way. Like really a lot of workers. That's obviously a big mistake. The way that I handled that. I thought I could just do it like that, but I definitely couldn't. So now he's trying to trigger the, the mines, and that's definitely not working well for him. Um. Honestly, my setup was not bad at all. I just didn't do it properly, I think. He's still trying to go for me. Like he's really trying his absolute best to ruin my life. Um... Which, you know, is, 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 is fair, right? He's, he's just, he's really hard trying to own me. I think he's playing a very fun style here. Where it's like uber aggressive. I don't actually know who is winning or who's losing. Although I'm stimming quite a bit. Pre splitting also might be a mistake. I'm gonna fool all this area for a little bit. Um. I kind of want to mix in maybe some some type of units already would you call those guys some type of marauders usually people don't actually do that quite yet but there's not that much to lose for me
I'm also super afraid of Muras. I'm gonna build one blind turret. I wouldn't do this if he hadn't beaten me last game with Muras. But usually people kind of, as I mentioned, kind of stick close to what, you know, what they play. Uh, this is going to be my first bit of info that I gather in a very long time. This guy honestly plays very nice StarCraft too, I'm not going to lie. He's owning me every single time so far. Like really just owning me. Just pure things, huh? Just gonna kind of run around here for a bit. I want to get one of these out. It's Overlord speed as well. Research complete. One of the things I appreciate that my opponent has been doing really well so far is just um, sending in like small amounts of links before he goes in with a big attack. I, I think that's one of these things that is really cool and really quite necessary often. This was a bad attack though, wasn't it? I had so many mines here. I think he really underestimated this. I lost my drop though, meanwhile. Fort base still alive, which I'm really happy about. He's gonna go again, isn't he? Oh, frick. He has freaking... Ultras out already. This guy's playing like a gangster. I, I really have nothing bad to say about the way this dude plays. Really, almost nothing. He feels so good. And sure, I didn't play this perfect at all. really just kind of own me, huh? Oh, I didn't lift that. Yeah, he's just better. I'm sure it's this fun. I wish you'd have tried kiting back a little bit further. Is that adrenal? No. Nice. Ah, he's really on me. Hey, this wasn't even... Yeah. Holy crap. He had no workers. <sighs> so here the game was over, right? Because he killed so much. He still was floating so much money as well. I felt like my macro was okay this game. It's just up in supply. Look at this. He has more workers than I do. He's just going for a very... Si Look at it, how many units he has. What the hell? I guess he can skip spores because he sees a viking. He's floating 1200 during all of this as well. And even now it wasn't close. All these fights, I think if I have... If he doesn't have plus one, go much, much worse for him. In my mind at least. This is such a nice time. There's so many links. And then here, the game ends. Like it's actually over, I think. It's after this, I'm just dead. He goes into infestation pit already. I think his second Evo is a bit late. Especially given the fact that he's floating like 1k the entire time. Ah, he just owned me. Holy crap. Ah, let's try one more time. Then I'll play some uh, pros after. Because this hasn't been going too hot. You always float a bit with pure Ling. Can't spend money without macro hatches. I don't think that's true for 54 worker though. I think he's just floating because he didn't macro very well. It's also not like I put on a lot of pressure, so he can just add more hatches quicker. Just watch uh, Sarah, uh, not Sarah, Solar play. Solar never floats money, even if he's on four hatch. Solar is one of the only players. Now, there, I mean, you also have Sarah and Rainer that usually don't float so much, but Solar, if you watch his games playing Ling Bane openers, he never floats. He just doesn't float. It's crazy. I hope I get him again. I want that. Oh, yeah. Too bad. Greetings, Harsten. Much love and respect from a little place in Denmark. Have a good weekend. Oh, thank you. You too have a good weekend. It's not quite weekend yet, though. Going to Cologne tomorrow, my dear friends. I said it already. If you are in the neighborhood, 
You happen to be a German? You have nothing to do on the Saturday? Maybe come on over. To Cologne. I don't know actually the details where it's being held, but I can look it up after this. Neat little tournament. I think it's eight or ten players or something. I'm planning on winning it. Good plan? Yeah. What can I say? Oh, it's a fast scout. Feels kind of rushy almost, no? 56, 57. Oh, we almost had him. Oh, you could have definitely turned around there. This has not been the greatest gas mining in the world. <laughs> Just kind of be real. Oh, it is a kind of rush. Then I say it feels a little bit kind of rushy. What's going on? Huh? See? Oh, that's a nice move. That's a less of a nice move. Just full wall this temporarily. Oh, it wasn't even fully walled there. What the hell? Oh, he's actually going to continue uh, going up here. Isn't he? It's really important that I clear all of these. So he went for a very risky maneuver here. And I think he might have failed a little bit. Because he doesn't have... Uh, we have way too much gas. It's quite a few workers as well. Yeah. Orbital. So he didn't have any cannons covering the ramp, which is usually what you do as a Protoss. He went for a very risky maneuver, it didn't work out, and now he's stuck with the consequence of not really having any high ground vision. I got one of these things. Uh, probably wants to build a cannon here now. That's what I would say you should do. Yeah. I'm going to have this thing out in time though. I'm just going to continue attacking that pylon. How about we start uh, latching on the crap again, like back in the day? Die. No, no, please, for the love of God, don't die, Kevin. I thought I'd build a new uh, dude already, to be quite honest. If I lose this game, I'm going to be so freaking out. Well, you guys will have a clue, because I'm going to scream. I'm going to cry like a little loser. Mm -hmm. I'm so upset. Nice, that's a kill. I have no clue what this guy is up to either. Well, I mean, I have a pretty decent clue what he's up to. But.
Okay, what's the chance I'm still winning this game? I bet the chance I'm still winning this game is about 2%. Actually, I'm being very generous to myself here. Get this thing up. Ooh, we missed that. I wonder if he's getting blinked or what's the play here for my opponent. It's definitely blink is the plan. Question now is is he one basing or two basing? Die 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 my darling. If he's one basing, we obviously have a very good chance of winning this game. Because I just killed like what? How many workers did I actually kill? Like five or six or seven? Let's move in here. Six with this, six with that. Well, I guess some of those are stalkers as well. Killed good worker count though. Really, really nice worker count. Do not regret any moves I made there. I regret a lot of other moves I made so far. I got a raven as well. Which is definitely the correct call. Given the fact that he is freaking you know, Okay, we shoot me or though. How long is the range, huh? How long is the range? Why would he not just get an observer or something? Oh, there it is. Hey, it's really not the end of the world. Getting a lot of freaking kills here. And you know what's gonna happen? He's gonna send the the, the stock to the main base. And guess who's gonna be in the natural land? These guys. Did you just straight up send it in? Ah, uh, he saw my raven. He had 27 supply left. This is the worst cannon rush defense I've ever had in my life, and I still won because Terran is such a, a joke race. It's so easy. <laughs> Playing Terran is like uh, it's like being on a cruise, basically. Like you're getting things done as you're eating, you know, you're, you're sitting there and you're moving places, but you're not really contributing very much to the process. So you can't really call yourself a sailor of the seven seas just because you went on a cruise ship. Playing Protoss is like being in a lifeboat. And you have like an one oar, the other one went, poof, flew out. Do you call that an oar? The thing that you used to do? A row? A rowing stick? I think it's called an oar, no? Or, yeah, yeah, an or is an implement used for waterborne propulsion. You're waterborne propulsioning yourself over the ocean while the Terran players are sitting you know, in the cruise ship. They're waving at you. They could throw out like one of these these lines, but they won't because it's Terran players. They have no no moral understanding of the world. And then on the ship, they're still complaining about the quality of the food as well. You know, that's there's oh, this lobster wasn't perfectly cooked. Meanwhile, in your little rowing boat, you're eating the leg of another Protoss player that died before you. It's like this ingenious ways of getting the the, the, the salty seawater and distilling and making sure that the salt goes away so you can drink. You know, you set up your little fishing shop on the boat and then the waves of the cruise ships blow you over. The Terrans on their massive cruise ship looking at the, the fish that you just cooked on your self-made pan made out of the bones of your brothers. Like, oh, it looks much better than our food. I wish we could switch. Wait, like, what? It's unbelievable, these guys. God, I hate all Terran players equally. <sighs> If it's a robot, it would probably normally be called an oar, not a paddle. Gotcha. The Zerg players are the fish. Not sure what the Zerg players would be. They're a different type. They really are a different type. 
It sounds like the Protoss players need to pull themselves up by their bootstraps, not gonna lie. That's what I think as well. Why don't they just get on the cruise ship? What a bunch of morons. God. What would I need to do to be the most hated or loved Terran player? Just to stay yourself. Oh my god. We instantly found a game. Who's this guy? Who are you? 6k Protoss. What if you didn't play Robo? You're not a fan of the Robo? Yeah, I love playing Robo. The win rate with the Robo is very high as well. It's like paying for insurance, not cool. <laughs> really? I think playing Robo styles is much higher test than playing uh, non-Robo styles. This is the problem with StarCraft players. They're all followers and they're following the wrong thing. I think Robo is secretly Busto. I can say these things as well because no one listens to me anyway, so. I would actually give you the exact rundown down why I think Robo is not bad in PvP. And people would just ignore me anyway. They're like, oh, he sucks at the game. Don't worry about him. How much did Setup pay Hamster for the final lead cast? That was, honestly, I was a little bit, I was like, ooh. It felt fishy, you know? Like, that, that ain't right. That's what I said to myself. One forty one scout. It's a nice scout timing. Second gateway scout is what it is. We can play blink though if you want. I once again made the same mistake as always, didn't I? Yeah, very nice. It's not actually a low ground uh there's no low ground availability there. Uh, is he gonna block me? Kinda wanna stop that, I think. Let's see what you have out here, bud. Wait, where's your second piling, you loser? What? Oh, it's here. I missed it. Oops. I bet he has a sentry hiding somewhere. I hate sentry builders. Especially if they get to hide them, but I don't. <sighs> not a fan of that. Okay, well, we're gonna find out soon anyway if what I'm doing is legit or not, so. So happy together. Always the winner. Oh, that's a cool thing to do. I always like to hide my units in this case. He doesn't get the kill here. I out GTS him. I know this because I've done the calculations. So that was a very bad finish. Because he also should have known that. But I guess he didn't do the calculations, which I did do. So you see a chrono boost here on Blink. His Blink also is uh, 10 seconds faster already. So that now is 20 seconds quicker. Every chrono boost is 10 seconds. A good way to think about it because it's, the, it's, it's accurate. Um, so 20 seconds is actually a number I can kind of live with. I'm just gonna get more workers than him. Me and you, and you and me. I thought I saw an observer. No matter how it does the Okay, I'm not sure why I did that. I tried to send a hallucination out, but I clicked the wrong button completely.
It wasn't very bright in retrospect. Um, look like this. Because now I'm actually kind of vulnerable to a lot of things. Like, really quite vulnerable. Now I can start chronoing this myself. So he finished it. I'm supplied. I thought I built a depot. What? Why is that so late? I didn't do this properly. Had I actually targeted properly with these guys, I would have gotten like seven, eight worker kills here. Now I got about zero. I feel like I should have a, a quicker reproduction ability as well. Uh, we macroed improperly behind this too. That's okay. I almost feel like... I mean, the problem here was really that I just didn't scout in time. If I see his move out in time, I think my life is much, much better. I knew this was going to happen, actually. We should just move these away, shouldn't we? Actually, there's no point. If you're not planning on moving them away properly in time, then you shouldn't do it at all anymore. It's better just to continue mining. So I made two mistakes. I first didn't move them away instantly, because with two stalkers, I'm probably going to lose too much. And then I still moved them away after realizing that it was too late already. So... A double blunders here, really. It's good to see, though, that people at all levels make big blunders. Ain't that nice? Yeah, that's a nice misclick today as well. Love to see it. Uh, let's see if we can move this on the map. I feel like I have more stuff, though, than my opponent. I hope he doesn't try to snipe this. Doesn't have any detection or any vision at all. What the hell? That seems really weird now. Okay, here it comes. This is a good fight. So now it's gonna turn into a bad fight. So then we blink away. That could have been bad for me had he turned around in time. But because he didn't, it actually is okay. Ah, this sucks. Cancel that thing too. He has something here now. There you go. Looks like he's gonna try and claim that. You have very poor vision on the map right now. This is a risky and dumb move.
That was a, a good move. What did I just shoot? Was that a DT? Or what? Okay, we don't have good upgrades quite yet. Let's see if we can just get a little bit extra gas. Okay, that was nice. And then just sit on three bases for a little bit. I feel like I'm giving away a position here that maybe I shouldn't be giving away. I, because I'm not entirely sure what my position is. That's the issue that I have here. Like, I, I don't know if... Maybe I should have just been out on the map right now. But I'm so insecure about my position at the moment that... Maybe this is just a fine thing to do, really. Stupid blink. I don't know if I can just fight this. I don't think I can. He's gonna try and surround me here. We have a lot of workers. Too many, actually. This is stupid. I'm not sure why I moved there with my entire army. That was actually really dumb. That should have had way bigger consequences had he played well. That was really bad. Okay. He's definitely gonna take this out, isn't he? Oh, it didn't cancel. Very nice. Is gonna blink forward here or what? I think he is, huh? What the hell? Wild move. Oh, I just... Oh! It's nice to have those units in there, too. I don't have any. That definitely was a bit of a blunder here by me. I thought I could... Like, semi-base trade, but... I wonder if he has that bottom side base, then. Or what's kicking off here? So I'm just gonna poke him from the from the back a bit. So I know that he has uh, observers somewhere over here. I just don't see them yet. He doesn't have observers over here. That's why I didn't see them. This has to be one of the sickest dumb fights that I've seen in my entire life being taken by a Protoss player. What the hell was this? I think he has the bottom right side base, huh? Should have continued upgrades here. That was a dumb error. That was a really stupid error by me. Okay, I have this here. See if I can get some vision on that bottom side. Why are my things not working? Okay, there we go. I just set up the hotkeys incorrect, my bad. Maybe I shouldn't long distance mine when I'm not even properly saturated on this place, but whatever. Let's pretend that I did that correct anyway. <sighs> okay, so he's definitely, so he's on four bases here, most def. Oh, nice one. Slow warping. Mm, I love it. Mm, that's great. 
So here we see no no cannon, which means that the moment he lets this base go, single DTs are going to be uber efficient. He's gonna go in through the middle. Oh my god, he has a he took a base here. Talk about sick moves. But he needs to blink over right now if he wants anything to do with me. He obviously does want something to do with me. I hope that's his final thing. That's a mistake. It's gonna be a good call. Please tell me there's gonna be a good call. It was a good call. GG. Wow. GG. I owned him. Really curious what my position was in this game. I was up 15 supply. Remember when I said I'm not sure what my position is right now? But it feels like I'm giving something up that I shouldn't be giving up. I was completely right. Although, was I? If I take a fifth right now, I'm spreading myself quite thin. Does he have upgrade lead? I have a stalker lead. Upgrades are equal. Yeah, I gave something up that I shouldn't have. <laughs> Because he's basically copying me, but he's just up a base. Um, but he's going to be out mining. Well, he has so little workers. Look at that. There's like no units. I, I really misread this game in a major way, to be honest. I don't see the early game here. 50 to 43. So I'm up seven workers the moment next I finish. And then this one comes in. So the moment you see this and you're not in position, you should just pull away. Like, obviously. Because now what happens is I lose four or five workers. And then I just go back in. So I just continue losing workers the entire way through. It's just stupid. There's really no uh, other way to phrase that. Just dumb. Yeah, my work count is so good during this. My forge is a little late. Does he go six gate before? No, he goes 4 gate. Nah, no, he went before. He went 7 gate into 4th. But he's playing of no gas. This is really popular right now. And I think it's actually quite good. I think it's very good, actually. Like these no gas styles. I'm so afraid of playing them. But whenever I play against them, I'm like, yeah, this is, this is much better than whatever the heck I'm doing. I really like it. These no gas styles. It allows you to to saturate bases so quick as well. So here I'm saturated. This is a good force. Field. I'm happy that I did that. He went three gas. See, yeah, rather than a gas, he just gets another gate, which at this point is completely fair. He completely skipped sentries as well, didn't he? So if you completely skip sentries, you have so much gas in the bank that your fast extra gas isn't necessary. So things like single sentry into this are really powerful. So then he just has good production. Okay, here. Here, I think I should have probably won the game. Here, I should have shot this and walked in. Didn't do that, though, did I? And here, I don't target well. Do I even get a worker? I get one worker kill with this. I should have gotten, like, six. If I had done this well. And then he's actually dead dead. Like, he's not just out somewhat. He's just completely out. Let's get a robotics facility at a decent timing. There's a way later observer than I do. Yeah, I think his position is quite good. Very playable. Indeed. Gets a prism, fort base. The nice thing about having less gas is that you don't need as many probes either while still having same income uh, when it comes to minerals. So really, all you want to do is just kind of trade around the fort base. If you don't get the trade and the other guy is playing mass stalker, and you're just, you have a lot of zealots, it can be pretty, pretty bad. Sentries are very powerful against zealots, but you need to have split armies most of the time. Or you need to max out. And then surround and stuff like that. Like, force fields are so good. Like, my, my trades are actually just even, though, which isn't great. I thought I was going to trade better against this. 
That sucks. This observer is gold as well for him. I didn't realize that. I thought I would have scouted that with my own. Yeah, decent game. How can no gas be good when the better units need gas? Because I think in small numbers, Stalker Zealot is completely fine against Stalker. So if you can split army and you have Stalker Zealot versus Stalker, I think it's usually okay. I think if you know you're playing against this as the Stalker player, you just need to play very careful on three and I'm very careful on four bases. And what you want is good trades and you don't actually need very fast good eco. You just don't want to lose stuff. If you don't lose stuff, eventually your opponent has like a Zealot army, which is balls. Then they're going to need to take gases and... Is what it is. Are you going to get 6.6k today? Doubtful, but hopeful. Well, thank you Carson P for the uh, $10. Much appreciated. Let's read some stuff. Cario Cairo Tick for the uh, two-month resub. Much appreciated on that as well. Very cool. Do you always get a robot this early playing Twilight? I got it post third base, so I played greedy. I mean, it wasn't super greedy because I saw quite a few units, but it's not super safe. Safe play is Robo before third Nexus, actually. Yeah. What I did is not necessarily considered very safe at all. Are you the best looking pro gamer right now? It has been said. Harstam, in a game that goes to beyond mid-game, do you always get charged? What about blink? In PvP, you always get blink. Or almost always. And in later games, you always want charge. Because Zealot is the most efficient harassment unit in the entire world. It has pretty good damage output. Um, it trades well against most units if they're not being microed. It's just a good unit to have. So you always want to have some of those. That's what I say. Does Zest look that good? Zest is retired. He's in the army right now. He's not a pro gamer at the moment. Any Stormgate action on the weekend? No, I'm going to Cologne this weekend to play StarCraft 2. Harstam, do you think StarCraft 2 will come in the next year? Yeah, actually I heard some rumors. Microsoft will be releasing their playable beta in two weeks from now. StarCraft 3 is true. Message your favorite gaming journalist and tell them the news. Link to this clip as the primary source. And boom, just like that, they'll get the clicks. Please don't. <laughs> this is a lie. Get a drunk journalist to tweet about it. <laughs> You're good to go. All right, I'm going to go to the restroom real fast. Be right back. Do you think playing StarCraft 2 will make me a better RTS player? Yeah, sure. Usually playing RTS does make you a better RTS player, so I would say yes. I was in Cologne at the train station for a few hours en route to Frankfurt for a flight one Christmas Eve morning at about 5 a.m. Dudes were screaming and fighting outside of the cafe I sat down at. That's pretty crazy. Should have filmed it. Could have made a couple of dollars on Twitter. 
post it. Crazy fight outside of the cafe. Europe has fallen. If you put that under it, at least 12 bucks out of that tweet. <laughs> How much does your MMR increase when you have a gaming chair? It's not a like a it's not like you buy it and it increases, but it's like an amplifier, you know? So all the skill increase you were gonna get, point one one times two, you know? That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened to your TL chair? This is my TL chair. It has the freaking horse on the back, doesn't it? Dude, it's the best investment they ever made. I sit on this all the time. All of my videos. But that's why I mirror it, so you can't read the company names. Unless you know how to mirror read. You see, this is... <laughs> back when they still paid me. I had my camera flipped so you could read it. I thought of, uh, you know, putting tape over it. No free sponsorship. <laughs> I was like, guys, that's a bit petty, isn't it? They did send me the chair for free. <laughs> but maybe, maybe I should. Here, now you can read it. Oh my God, it's Alienware. Quickly, put it back to normal. <laughs> could say anything. <clears throat> Wait, who am I playing? I didn't notice. Please tell me in the chat. I don't wanna... Actually, I could click first what race. Sir, Max Pax is Zerg. It would be embarrassing to lose to. Wouldn't it? I think every now and again something embarrassing needs to happen to you. Put you back on the on the ground with two, with two, two feet. It grounds you. It really does. Let's do a no scout against Max Pax. No way he 12 pulls. He's a 50 match enjoyer, I'm pretty sure. That's what I would be if I were him. What's Max Pax Zerg MMR? I have no clue. Dude. I didn't check either. You can go back in the YouTube video, Dito. Figure it out. Figure it out. 5-5? Five, five? Five eight? How are people giving me different answers? Six four. Five five. Oh, okay, it seems like five five is the actual correct answer here. That's what most people give. And the masses are never wrong. That's why democracy works so well. Harsham, are you 193 centimeters? Soon I will be. I think right now I'm 195. I lost a centimeter. I used to be 196 back in the day. Back when I was a young god. I read though about these exercises that you can use to stretch yourself out and make you taller again. I wonder if I could re reach two meters with that. If I just do that for like a year. These growing exercises. Maybe I should do that as an experiment. For a year, do like daily stretches. It sounds like a lot of... Uh, a lot of effort though. I bet there is a like a growing community that is really not just personal growth, but like literal growth. I bet one of you is a member of it as well. And you're now gonna tell me which exercises to use and which supplements as well. With a cheap affiliate code. Eating red meat in youth is supposed to help with weight? Really? I didn't eat a whole lot of red meat. I mainly ate fricandel. 
in my youth. Frikandelbroodje. This guy plays like an absolute prick, by the way. Can we just say that? He plays... He plays Zerk exactly how I figured he would play Zerk. I don't lose this, am I not? Actually, this is kind of okay. He also could have not built those. This actually cost him more than it cost me. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Because <laughs> this is a good trade. <laughs> no, it's actually fine. Oh my. Okay, so now we're gambling a little bit. Oh, He's building spores already. I can't wait to read all about the growing community after I'm done with this game. I actually love the thought of this. Look at a split shot. What? Crazy split shot. Okay. It's not actually there. Messed up, if you ask me. Really messed up. Just how this game is going. They don't want me to have the success. Oh my god, I hate when people do this. Let's play well, that is. That's one of those moves that people are very often make, and I think it's really powerful. That's probably why people very often make it as well. I think I'm not actually allowed to move out at this point yet. I actually wrote it down in my little document the other day too. Like legit, you're not allowed to move out. The way you usually do. But then here you are playing against Max Pax, you're like, what's the chance that he knows how to play? Not pretty freaking big actually. I lost my dudes. Well, not all of them yet, but pretty close to it. Probably should have built this a bit quicker as well. What the hell is he doing, huh? What do you think you're up to, Chief? I don't like playing against Max Pax, let me tell you that much. There's no winning for me either here, you know what I mean? Oh, wait, what? Well, I mean, there's winning for me, but... Like, four points. It's not a real win. I feel like I might have used too many, uh, too many tricks. Ooh, that's exciting. It's actually somewhat exciting, not gonna lie. Did he just lose his fort base to a stalker move out? 
He most definitely did. Now, I could make fun of him for that, but... I don't think I ever kept my fourth base alive in my entire life. Playing with Zerg against a stalker move out by someone that knows what they're doing. <clears throat> I even often lose it against people that have absolutely no clue what they're doing. So, with the style that I'm playing, I actually want to fight against someone that has more than one base, usually. GG. Yeah, this was a very close game. He almost had me. If it wasn't for the fact that he was down 30 supply. And down a base. And building Hydras. But otherwise, if it wasn't for those things, this almost could have been a potentially close game. Does Max Pax play Terran at all? I feel like he would be good as Terran too. He's very good as Terran. I think he got 6k or so. Who was better after three years? You or Raynor? I think Raynor, but it was in different time periods, so it's unfair. Was bad at the start. Max Pax was Terran originally, also true, yeah. How do you feel so confident dealing with Hydras with only gateway units? I always poop my pants. Well, Hydras by themselves are not very good. This is a fact. They are... So... Hydras are good with Banelings. That is it. Because the moment you start touching Hydras, they die. That's a fact. They suck against Storm. They're bad against Zealots. They're okay in a straight-up trade against Stalkers. But you never get a straight-up trade against Stalkers because Stalkers just blink back. So basically what you do is you use the Stalker to take away the units in front of the Hydras, and then you come in with the Zealots and you clean the Hydras. That's how you play pure gateway against Hydras. If the Baneling count becomes too big, where that isn't possible anymore, you need to have Storm or Colossus, one of the two. Ideally Storm. I think Storm is superior. Is Max Pax the top of the ladder? I think right now Max Pax is fairly high up. Colossus versus Bane seem wrong. Yeah, but it is playable. If you if you can deny creep, Colossus are very good against Banes, actually. Like, they're actually good. Maxed out Colossus armies do well against Banelings. As long as the Banelings count isn't insanely high and as long as there's no flank. If you're not getting flanked, then you can kite back off creep. With some stasis wards mixed in. Like, high-paced games, Stalker, Colossus against Banelings, absolutely fine. Is there time to max before Vipers? So that's game dependent, right? And if there's Vipers out, you can just get Templar. People that play Colossus sometimes pretend like Vipers are the end of the world when you have Colossus. And I think it is a little bit the end of the world. But at the same time, it's Templar just counter the Viper. So it's not like, oh, this is terrible. It's really once Lurkers come out that I think it becomes very difficult to properly use it. And I mean, if there's too much creep, then Colossus just suck. Colossus are a unit where you need momentum and very little creep. And if both of these things are there, Colossus are actually very powerful. I think I underrated them for too long, but I think in this, with very little creep, Colossus are good. If there's any amount of creep, Colossus, they fall off. Like they're, they're just not as good because it takes so long to fight. You can't ever really, you can't actually really fight. As a Colossus player, you also don't want to be too defensive, because if that happens, Colossus defensively are not great. They're okay, but they're not great, because you like to kite with Colossus. So as long as Banelings don't have an objective that they can hit, then Col and Colossus can keep running back, that's really nice. But at bases, often, you only have so much space to kite, right? You can just... A after a while, your base is vulnerable, so you need to fight, and that's an issue. You lost 20 Hydras to one Colossus the other day. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's a user <laughs> user error. What do you think of Colossus Stalker Sentry versus Zerg for middle game? Yeah, that's fine. I think I'd not get too many sentries though. Depending a bit on your opponent's composition as well. But the problem with sentries is, is that it's a very heavy gas investment for a unit that doesn't scale well at all. 
It is really bad once Ravagers are out. It is terrible once Vipers hit the field usually. Uh, it becomes pretty awful against Lurkers. It's useless against Ultras. And the one resource that Protoss really lacks against Zerg is gas. So the more uh, gas you invest into sentries, the more all-in you are, basically. Or the harder it becomes for you to properly transition out. Because you, you don't really have the cash to throw down a cheeky Templar archives or another robotics facility. It's a, it's a very, very expensive gas sink that is not very good in the long term. People used to get a lot of sentries, but then they realized sentries are bad. People used to get a lot of sentries before the Ravager existed, specifically. I think in Legacy, high sentry counts have never really been a standard. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think I am, actually. They should change the sentry. True. How do you play mid-game PvZ? Storms are expensive, Colossus are weak, balls are much supply. What do you do? momentum you need to be out on the map you need to be doing things and otherwise you camp on eight gases on four base get cannons and storm and you're usually fine like it's not a really difficult matchup at all uh, theory wise that is like because zerg only has one type of threat and that's ground threat really so the moment you understand how gas mining from zerg works you should never technically be allowed to die it doesn't mean it doesn't happen but once you understand how gas management works for Zerg, then all all ins are very scoutable. All attacks, you can understand how they work. You, it's all about counting gas against Zerg when it comes to like analyzing what threats the opponent has. You keep dying to surprise Muras, then you're not doing well with the gas. You need to understand how their gas works. If you're seeing someone spamming 55 links, 6 roaches, no ravagers, and they're on 8 gas, it's probably Mura. And also, you are allowed to scout for tech structures, by the way. Protoss players sometimes forget this, but you can send an oracle in to see what tech they're building. Like, that's not necessarily illegal. Some players would even say that that's a good move. It's trying to figure out what your opponent is doing. And you have a lot of freedom to move with oracles, usually. Showtime said PVT is way harder than PVZ now. Yeah, I agree with Showtime, 100%. PVT has so many different threats from in the early game that are not easy to scout. The thing against Zerkis is that you, I don't want to say you have perfect information, but you have very close to perfect information. You can literally get whatever info you want. Now, there's a, like, you can play as safe as you, as you desire in that matchup. Well, it's not at all the case against Terran. There's no such thing as playing. Like, I can't decide right now what I'm going to do. Like, it's just not possible. I, I need to scout. I need to I need to respond to crap. Like, it's it's much, much harder. Like, it's... There's so many things that can kill me. And then there's so many things that shouldn't kill me, but still could. And there are things that never should kill me, and then still kill me. Really, there's very many ways to die against Terran. It's like... There's so many ways to die against Terran. And then there's also ways to just be behind. Then there's ways to be even. And there's almost no ways to be ahead in the early game. Like, it's really rare at the end of the early game that Protoss did something and now they're ahead. Very often it's Terran doing something and then being behind because they took a risk. But then you can't really kill them anyway because, you know, they built tanks. Sit on three bases for a while. Get a fourth base. My personal opinion right now in this matchup is that Terran is not really favored in any state of the game, except maybe late game. But that um, Terran basically has multiple lives, where Protoss only has one. So as a Terran, you can do like a very dedicated early game pressure and kind of fail. I don't think that really exists as Protoss. You can't fail an early game pressure really. And then be like, okay, now I'm just going to sit on three bases and not do anything. So even if the percentage chance of Terran winning is lower, there's still a chance. 
that's what it feels like right now for me. So there's very large, like a big, big amount of things that you can die against. This is a fun little build, by the way. 17 Nexus, no scout. Um, and we're going to go into heavy worker production here. So we need to be a little bit careful initially with sending probes down. We can technically do it. Okay. So now the question is, what is he going to do? He doesn't trust his own uh, micro, though. So very many players here would have been going around the Nexus, which I think is much harder to deal with. I could have cancelled that, but I decided not to. So here I'm basically trusting him that he doesn't make bad decisions. Now if he were to go in, this is a bad decision. Because at 240, my next Adept should finish. So this is legitimately just a, a bad call. Because he could have lost this for free. Like, it kind of worked out for him because he gets a scout. But this is a very big risk that he took. And I think generally it's a bad risk to take as well. Because he didn't see the Chrono in my main base. So he couldn't have known. It's not like he... like. He saw the chrono in the natural, but not the chrono in the main. So this is once this was not allowed, a non-allowed move that he went for here. Um, I could do two things: I could build a battery, or I could not build a battery. And as most people know, is that whenever there's an opportunity to do something that could be considered greedy, I usually take it. So we're not going to build a battery. Oh, and we freaking shoot F. <laughs> I love myself. <laughs> Honest to God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> well done. I played super greedy here. I mean, I deserve to die. This is it. <laughs> if I had a battery, this would have been very good for me. Because my work account was very good. 42. Yeah. I I didn't think he was going to play gas. Uh, two gas. Oh, I, I didn't buy it. <laughs> uh, I also up normal. Yeah, if he would have played any, I think even like a triple Reaper 2 Hellion, I would have really struggled here. So any double gas would have probably killed me. This was the hardest I could have died, um, like straight up. Three Reaper 2 Hellion would have probably killed like six, seven workers maybe um, against against two Adept, one Stalker. Actually, and then not have, uh, maybe it's fine. I'll try to play the same build and I'll scout. I actually am supposed to scout late, so I can get a little bit of info. I wonder if maybe it's better just to build a blind battery rather than scouting. Because then I save the money from the scout, and I still have a blind battery. So you always, like, eventually you usually want to build a battery anyway. Maybe a blind battery is just better. I could also try to scout with my second adept. So if I chrono boost that rather than probes... It's kind of mehy in case it's double Reaper into Hellion. I think it's a, it's a play that's not allowed. I mean, if I wanted... I, or I could just not play Greedy, I guess. That's also technically possible, but... That falls very far outside of how I view life. It doesn't fit in my life philosophy, really. If I was him, I'd go there for a second. So... Yeah, let's just check chill over here for a bit. Okay, this is good. I put the assimilator on the wrong side. Because usually when you put an assimilator somewhere, you want to have the second assimilator be close to the natural ramp so you can travel down there quicker with your probe. Now you see I'll be floating a bit of cash before my pylon goes down. It's like 15, but it's actually kind of a big deal because the delay on the core is, or the delay on the first adapt is going to be quite a bit. Okay, we'll do a no-scout blind battery. Let's see how that works out for us. 
So yeah, you'll see the delay here on the pylon, which is like 15 minerals, probably like a second and a half or so. That's this. So it should have been maybe like 202. Now instead I start at 203, which is obviously not very good at all. It's kind of stupid even. Um... Not doing anything right now. This is kind of risky as well, honestly. It really is. This type of shade out, I'm not a huge fan of in case it's a delayed Reaper somewhere. It almost feels safer if you see the Reaper at first, but yeah. like there could have been like a 14 second window in which you just start shooting my probes and stuff like that. Would not have been very fun. So, ooh, we can actually get a... This is really fast. It's a decent chance here that he's gonna... Uh, drop stuff in my main base. I almost feel like I want a full wall here, no? Did I not get another attack? No, I did. Ooh, very nice. I will. Where? So we lost a bunch of workers here. He put some somewhat significant delay on some things that he probably cared about. Now the question is, where is he gonna go? So what's the chance he still has that starport somewhere else on the map? Fairly high, I would say. <laughs> I would say fairly high, guys. <laughs> yeah, about a 9 out of 10 chance. Is there any suggestion for a new StarCraft 2 player? What do you mean? Any suggestion? Oh, on what to do with your life? Yeah, install the freaking game, my friend. Did I get that? I can't believe I managed to trade. I thought that was the worst call I could have made in my life. But I guess it's fine. <laughs> Very reasonable indeed. Come on, little buddy. Yeah, yeah, you'll go right now. Kick Zerg if you want to win. I say play some Terran. I think Terran is really fun. Although Protoss also is really fun. I don't really have that many advices, honestly. Just pick, play build orders of, of other people. Don't, don't think that you understand what you're doing, because you legitimately have no clue. It doesn't really matter what level you are, that always remains true. Always check your own theories against the theories of other people. Very often other people have already kind of figured out what to do. Working with other people is, is one of the biggest things you can do, even if it's someone your level. Like, like, they can often figure things out or they have solutions. And very often they're bad solutions, but they're solutions that work anyway. Oh, look, he tricked me. I thought I was playing against Mech here for a second. That's really cute, actually. Because he got me good with that. 
He really did kind of give it that. Uh, let's get a robotic facility here. I think one of these over here. It's not a question that I really have for myself. As well as to my audience. Yo, he's just 5 rexing me or what? Kinda cute, isn't it? Should I just get one of these then? I think I probably should now. Does he really not have a third base? He's getting a lot of... He has a lot of Cyclones too, don't forget about that. I almost want to build a fourth base, you know that? Why do I want to build a fourth base? It's because very often in these types of situations... A fort base actually still helps you. Oh, look at that. Prick. So now I can do two things. I could either have just straight up warped stuff. <sighs> Immortal? No. Observer. No, that's bad. So, if you go... Oh, there's a freaking gate here that's unpowered. That's hilarious. Oh, 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 oh. You can hear that I mean it because I laughed. Nice. Oh, they you! So the only way I'm losing this game is if he causes some serious chaos here. So the only thing I need to do is make sure, indeed, that chaos doesn't get caused. What the hell is this? Does he think I have brain damage? Yeah, he definitely does think I have brain damage. He's a Terran player. Terran players think all pro players have brain damage. Does he have this as a base or what? Is he gonna wait for... Okay, so he cleared that. Something at least. I really wanted to clear those mines as well. That would have been epic. Epic lol. Oh, he found me. What the hell? I mean, this sucked. So he's just maxing out. I want to start trading right now. There's no observer. Didn't go so well. Did it now? Here it is. He legit. Dude, I was so nervous here, honest to god. I thought if I lose this fight, that would be slightly embarrassing. Where this move though. Actually, this fight got pretty close in it. Did it though? Where the heck did my uh He's on two bases, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, he actually had a third? No, this was just a... He flew over. Yeah, this is complete destruction in the early game. Actually, complete destruction. Look at this. He killed himself here into me. <laughs> killed seven workers, though. Oh, that was with the Hellion drop initially. Yeah. Noise. Easy rares. Is Protoss underperforming with Premier Vince? Do the race being better or lack of top players? See this discourse all the time, but I've never heard your take on it. Because I don't really have a take on it. Hellion drops are so weak. Yeah, you're actually banned. Like, Hellion drops are legit insane. If you think Hellion drops are weak, you might be weak in the head. Aklam also. Aklam is a moderator. I can't really ban him fast then. Okay, you get to stay, Clam. This is the final warning, though. If you actually... You don't, you don't even believe this. You can't just come in here and start spreading fake news. You know, I don't mind having an honest discussion, but you're just... You don't even believe it yourself. You don't believe that Hellion drops are weak. That is insane. Clam queue up and do a Hellion drop versus Harstam? No, don't do that. I would like to win. Thank you, by the way, V Carlo V for the uh, 66 month resub. Thank you, Speed Ghost, for the 44 month resub. Max Pax for following me 60 minutes ago. What the hell? Max Pax has been watching me for years, didn't follow me on Twitch until just now when I beat his Zerk. He finally figured out that I was worthy. Unbelievable, this stuff. Oh, I was answering a question. What was the question I was answering? Oh, about the Protoss players. Why they... So, our best Protoss player, or one of our best Protoss players, doesn't play offline events. Max packs. We lost Trap, and we lost Zest. I think all of these were semi-serious tournament contenders. Can you please be nice to Boss Starcraft? Because he's my friend. I'll be nice to Boss Starcraft. Yes. Um, like Trap single-handedly, what was it? 2021 was good because of Trap for Toss. If it wasn't for Trap, I think he won like freaking six premier events or something. Or was it 2022? 2020? What freaking year did Trap win tournament? Wait, isn't Gemini in the chat? Aren't you a Trap simp? Twenty twenty to twenty twenty one. Yeah. I knew you'd know. It wasn't for trap that year, pros would have been god awful. Like terrible performance all around. They would have sucked. We need a Protoss version of Serral. If it wasn't for Serral, Zerg would be bonkers bad. Honestly, the only race that's broken is Terran. This is the conclusion that we always come back to in the end. I think a big portion of that has to do with the fact that 4 Hellion drop is too powerful. <sighs> David Kim always wins at the end? David Kim is winning right now. But I'm sure there will be more about that at 5. Harstam, you're the Rob Cayman of StarCraft 2. I'm always scared that when you guys say some random name that I've never heard of, there's going to be like some, some freaking molester or something. Is say something messed up. And I'm like, oh, thanks so much. I appreciate that compliment. And then I Google this guy. He's like a serial killer. It's like, what? Who's Rob Kamen? Oh, he's a Dutch kickboxer. Oh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. A Dutch kickboxer. He was 185 though. Pretty small guy. He's 63 right now. This guy looks uber cool. Mr. Low Kick. Have you any information about whether we're getting a new balance patch anytime soon? Uh, work is being done. They're, they're putting in the work right now. 
Okay. I, okay, let's put it like this. I'd be surprised if by the end of the year, there's no new patch. I'd be shocked. Like, it would shock me to my core. By the end of the year. Must play first Bameless when I go Reapers and how to know it without scanning. Hmm, scout with the Reaper. That's a fat tip right there. Did you like the Mothership Core? Terrible unit. How do you deal with siege tanks as protos? I always lose to siege tank pushes. Um, what? Siege tanks. I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. This is, this is a hard question to answer because there's no such thing as a siege tank push. Well, this doesn't sound correct either, but there's... There's many different types of siege tank pushes. It, this is a little bit like saying, imagine you're a soccer player and a guy comes at you and he scores. And then you ask your coach like, coach, how do I stop them from getting past me? And the coach is like, well, well try harder. They, it's a non, a very, a very broad thing, siege tank pushes. You have siege tank pushes with a 1-1-1, one, one, one. one base siege tank pushes, two base, three base, five base. Like, what type of army supply are we working with? What type of army do you have, you know? Like, depending on your own opener, there's going to be a different approach. If you ask me how to deal with siege tank pushes, and I tell you, well, you just send the phoenixes behind the siege tank push, and then you pick off the reinforcements, and you're like, well, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm playing blink. It's like, well, that was bad advice then, but I didn't know that. So it's impossible for me to give advice on this. I need more parameters, parameters, parameters. I need more param. I think it's parameters or parameters, parameters, parameters. God, I freaking hate English. Parameters, parameters. Parameters. For the love of God. Paramedics. Parameters. Para. Parameters. I hate this language so much. There's a couple of words that are so tricky that don't make any sense to me. Parameters. Thank you. Parameters. Uh, not bad. Uh. And there's also a difference between the stupid Brits and the and the Americans. That makes it even worse being a non-native. That's all languages, Harstem. No. It's in particular, in I hate English. It's a very nice language, actually. I shouldn't say I hate it. It also feels right when I speak it. I like reading English as well. English doesn't lack too many words either. I give the English language like a, I think like an eight and a half out of 10 or so. It feels good. Yeah, I know my English is fine. It's just a frustrating language. It's, it's one of the fun things. I mentioned this before many times already, but whenever there's Dutch people speaking English, and it, it, Dutch people have a... I mean, we have a pretty gnarly accent. You know, I'm not going to lie. 
I noticed it with myself as well. There's, de there's definitely something there, you know? But the only people that always point it out are other Dutch people. Just consistently. Just... It's just Dutch people pooping. Whenever there's a pronunciation mistake I make, it's always a Dutch person. You know, it's it, it it's never James Jameson that, that points out that my pronunciation of a word is wrong. It's always... Y Yoast Yoast Von Honing That's a terrible last name But it would be something like that I hate it so much Dutch people just hate other Dutch people This is an actual fact If this guy's Hellion dropping me again, by the way, I'll actually lose it. I'm not gonna lie. I'll actually, I'll legit lose it. I'll start screaming like a five-year-old. It could also be Cyclones, though. I'd also lose it there. I didn't build a battery, which is, in retrospect, probably a mistake. Look at this prick. Look at this prick. This prick is amazing. Give it a lick. Mm. They shoot like raisins. This guy is a clown. He's gonna put my probes down. Nice one. What's the chance he's building an armory, though, huh? That's all I wanna know. I think it's the only one here. I am eager to but you know what's really relaxing here? Is that I know there's no way in hell that this dude is going to all in me with like marines now. It's just not viable. It's not possible, it's not viable. So instead what's gonna happen, he's gonna have mines sprawled around the map. This is my prediction. Fat prediction by the way. Really fat prediction. I don't think I have full vision here at all. You have not enough Tug on his winky. Ooh, that's dirty. Do you think so? Well, I better not show you where the lemonade is made. Sweet lemonade. Sweet lemonade. Dee, dee, dee. So I'm going to fly across the map. I'm going to fly in uh, three different mine locations. And I want all of you simultaneously to make fun of me for that. You're just, you're just actually just clearing it right now with a probe. Because you know there's going to be some freaking... Ah, there we go. That's number one. Then he's going to go for a three mine drop over here on my third base. I will miss it and lose 35 workers. These are my predictions for now. What? The ever living crap is this? Hmm. What in the... Like, actually, what is this? I want to move in, so he needs to target fire stuff. He's definitely target firing somewhat, right? Come on. Come on, dude. Really? I see you. Where the heck did he go? What? Oh, God. All of my God. Mina. Oh, that's what went wrong. Okay, understood. I had not... I'd expected a lot of things, but honestly not the, the Banshees. Also didn't expect that, obviously. Wait, these weren't hot keyed. Oops.
But, but why am I just sending stuff towards their death right now? Is this a new hot trend on TikTok or something? But I am gonna kill 12 of my own zealots. Woohoo. I also just tried to build a battery on the other side of the map. So I'm loving my life. Let's see what he's doing with his life. Seventy-one workers, not great. Almost feel like I want to get a disruptor first. This is not something I, I would like you guys to do. By the way, did he scan something? Oh, he scanned to make sure I wasn't there. So the reason I'm doing this is because I'm freaking dead. Okay. Look how sick my super battery is here, by the way. Almost feels like maybe you shouldn't have fought into my super battery. Maybe it was fine, actually. I feel like I lost this game really hard. Six K MMR on a good day. I can feel it on a very good day. Die! I lost my prison, by the way, for free. Let's not forget about that. That was a good move as well. I lost it. Do I have any observers? No, I'm not. What is he doing? This is an absolutely non-legit move. Like I'm being pranked. I'm definitely being pranked here. He's gonna come here, isn't he?
need to at some point really go for a massive run by. I also need way more gas, by the way. So here, what we're gonna do is just somewhat be in position. I don't have uh, range, do I? Hmm. So this is a fake. This game was over. I don't entirely know where he's at, though. Oh, I'm pretending to not see stuff, by the way. That's why I often my, my movements might seem kind of weird here. How many did I kill with this? That's what I want to know. Okay, maybe I can do something here. Nice, I definitely can. There's a thing here, yeah. So he's sending a dude out. Oh my god, he has so many freaking... What are they called? Liberators. Okay. The amount of liberators that I saw there made me freaking stutter, holy crap. Oh, geez, you got I think I can kill this thing? I think I can, actually. Oh, my good lord. Hmm, very nice. Very nice indeed. Good sir. Very nice indeed. I mean, I just can't go in here. I simply can't go in here. This is also not not doable anymore, I think. And then at some point, you can just counterattack. And I'm freaking... I'm done. Like this, this bozo is just going to move in and kill me. Maybe I have a chance here. Ah.
What the hell is he doing? Did I even start this? Yeah. You know what I really need to, need to freaking get rid of? Is these zealots? What the hell are they doing in my army? I never started plus three. I hate that so much for me. He has plus one. Probably should have figured it out before I jumped in like a lunatic. This is probably a mistake by my opponent. Because he doesn't have if he doesn't have plus two yet, he doesn't. Guy's gonna be 5.6k RMR. What a comeback, though. Oh my god, I was so dead. 5.9k he was? Yeah. Oh, I was so dead. The freaking banshees got me. He got me with the banshees. He got me with the banshees. And then I won. <sighs> Six save on that minus 40. Yeah, legit. What the? Oh my god. Well deserved. <sighs> oh, I was so dead. Look at my army value. That's... Man, you skip detection for the first eight minutes of the game and you can just lose like that. That's pretty crazy if you ask me. <laughs> I freaking hate invisible units, man. This guy's gonna go suck it. The lip upgrade moving is to improve transition. The cost nerf is just to make everything more affordable. What? The lip upgrade moving is to improve transition. I don't even know what you're talking about here. This entire sentence makes no sense. You can speak Russian. I understand everything. What? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm not Russian, though. I don't speak Russian either. But if I were Russian and I could speak the language, at least you would be capable of understanding it all. Nah, nah, nah. he was doing so many good. Uh, this 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 guy this guy wasn't stream sniping me, uh, Yuan. I don't think so. Absolutely no way. He did good moves. Like, he did good moves as in build order moves. But you can't know what I'm about to do. Because my my brain is an enigma. Which hasn't been decoded yet. In a way, saying that someone is an enigma doesn't make much sense. Because we figured it out, haven't we? Like if someone is an enigma, then it would be a pretty easy solve. This person would have been solved for like the past 80 years. Harstam, record one letter session in Dutch, one a year, and find a Dutch holiday to release it on. I don't think we have Dutch holidays, do we? Sinterklaas? King's Day, Koningsdag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's soon, isn't it? 27 of March, a full Dutch video. <laughs> Hallo mannen en vrouwen, welkom terug bij een nieuwe video. Vandaag gaan we weer computeren met het spel 
Sterrenkunde 2. Ster, sterren, sterrenkracht 2. Dat is wie sick. Stop maar. <laughs> Beesten uit de zee. All right, I'm done for today. It's been a blast. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, GG Team, for the Twitch Prime subscription. Um, yeah, final message for the uh, YouTube frogs. Uh, yeah, if you uh, have Amazon Prime, you can use it for a free subscription on my Twitch. Uh, with you, you, you link it, and then Twitch Prime, you have a, C a free subscription there, which is a couple of bucks for me. It costs you about five seconds to do. So if you do use Amazon Prime, please do that. If you have the time available, which you probably have because you've been watching my stream. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next year. Bye-bye. No, next week, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, Monday. I'll be back on Monday. That's what I wanted to say.